Welcome back to Aviation This Week. Today's edition is brought to you by Levero Aviation, your aviation solutions provider. I'm John Robinson of Wings and Helicopters, and this is your Aviation News. Your top story, Pratt & Whitney receives Transport Canada approval to increase cycle limits on PT6A 140 series engines. Then Lockheed Martin invests in renewable fuels developed in Edmonton. And Hamilton Watch wraps up celebrating a century in aviation. We'll have all your aviation news right after this quick message from our sponsor. Pratt & Whitney Canada received approval from Transport Canada to increase cycle limits on its PT6A 140 series engines which the company describes as the benchmark for single-engine IFR revenue flights in general aviation. The cycle limit increases will extend the life of low-cycle fatigue parts like power and compressor turbine discs and the impeller. For some parts, this amounts to an increase of up to 60%. Pratt & Whitney explains, particularly for those who start these engines often, that the increase means operators will have ample time on wing to reach their second overhaul at 8,000 hours. Operators performing fewer engine starts will see their cycle impacts extended beyond third overhaul at 12,000 hours. The company is clear in stating these increased cycle limits on the PT6A engine do not dictate the timing of an overhaul, only the need to replace a specific part. Forge Hydrocarbons of Edmonton received a $5.3 million investment from Lockheed Martin, which supports obligations associated with Canada's 2010 purchase of 17 CC-130J Super Hercules aircraft. The contract for these tactical transport aircraft, replacing legacy E-model Hercules, was estimated to be worth $3.1 billion, in addition to ongoing in-service support. The final new 130J was delivered in May 2012, six months ahead of time. This investment from Lockheed enables Forge to develop its lipid to hydrocarbon technology and to construct what it describes as a first of its kind commercial plant with a production capacity target of 19 million liters per year. Forge has begun final engineering design and site preparation for the first LTH plant to be built in Sombra, Ontario. This process was developed from a pilot project at the University of Alberta. Forge explains its LTH technology produces drop-in renewable fuels that are indistinguishable from petroleum-based fuels and compatible with the current fuel infrastructure. Forge states its LTH technology reduces greenhouse gas emissions by more than 70% compared to petroleum-based fuels. Throughout 2018, Hamilton Watch celebrated a significant milestone in marking 100 years of providing timing technology for the aviation world. In partnership with Hamilton, through a six-month contest with hundreds of ballots, Wings recently drew Alan Armstrong, Human Resources Manager at Chartwright Group, as the winner of a Khaki Aviation X-Wind Auto Chrono Watch. Founded in 1892 in Pennsylvania, Hamilton built its position as the dominant watchmaker during U.S. railway expansion. The company in 1918 was chosen to be the official timekeeper of the first U.S. airmail flights between Washington, Philadelphia, and New York. In 1926, a Hamilton watch timed the first flight to the North Pole. In the 1930s, Hamilton became the official watch of the four major airlines in the United States and timekeeper of the first non-stop coast-to-coast -coast service from New York to San Francisco. More recently, Hamilton in 2017 became the official timekeeper of the Red Bull Air Race. The current Hamilton collection includes watches with the ability to log up to 20 flights. They are equipped with a range of calculators for landing speed, drift, angle, and fuel requirements. The X-Wind features the world's first draft angle calculator in a watch to calculate and record crosswinds. This is Annex Business Media's Niche TV. Thanks again to our sponsor, Levero Aviation, your aviation solutions provider.